Colorado Springs. July 1899, while testing a magnifying transmitter built to track storms, Nikola Tesla claims he received some sort of transmission from an unknown source. One night he was tracking thunderstorms 600 miles away, but all of a sudden he heard these beeps, and it was three beats in sequence. And so it was mathematical, and it didn't make any sense to him. And the more he thought about it, he thought that they came from outer space, perhaps from the Martians. Mars, its orbit brings it close to the Earth periodically, about once every 1.8 years. And at one of those close encounters, uh, he believed he was picking up signals from Mars. Tesla reported this otherworldly communication and proclaimed his belief in extraterrestrials in February of 1901 in an article for Collier's Weekly titled, Talking with the Planets. Tesla became obsessed with trying to receive uh, further uh, radio communications uh, from other planets. Based on these transmissions that Tesla was receiving, he developed the theory that this extraterrestrial presence had been on Earth for a millennia that these extraterrestrials had been controlling mankind from the very beginning. How far did these communications go? Did it lead to the point where he was actually able to receive useful information that was helping him build his inventions? Many believe that this is what happened and that Tesla had direct contact through the things he'd invented with extraterrestrial intelligence. But the shocking revelation was shunned by Tesla's scientific peers and led many to deem him a mad scientist. So you have Nikolai Tesla electrifying the world, literally. Then about the time that he had a falling out with J.P. Morgan, a very powerful man, he'd also had a legendary falling out with Edison, another legendary powerful man. Then it came out that he was trying to perhaps signal the planet Mars and his enemies exploited this, uh, I think, to try and discredit him. In the early 1900s, it was rumored that Tesla was being considered to receive the Nobel Prize. But mysteriously, he never did. Even today, scientists don't take him into account the way they should. Tesla talked about atoms working like solar systems and that light could work as a wave and a particle. Einstein got a Nobel Prize for saying light worked like a particle. So why is he removed from the history of quantum physics when he really belongs at the heart of it? Belgrade, Serbia, housing more than 160,000 documents. The Nikola Tesla Museum offers rare insight into some of Tesla's future plans, including what some believe to be drawings of spaceships. According to historians, Tesla began work on his flying machine in 1910 focusing on the use of field propulsion or anti-gravity. It is believed Tesla had discovered that high amounts of electricity could actually create lift in an object. Throughout the 1920s and 30s, Tesla continually talked about anti-gravity ships that could derive power from his Wardenclyffe towers that were gonna to be broadcasting power. He claimed that these ships did not have wings or fuel. They were completely electric. But were Tesla's designs truly the first of their kind? Or is it possible, as ancient astronaut theorists suggest, that similar vehicles had already visited the planet in the remote past? In the ancient Indian epics, the Vedas, we find references of Vimanas, those flying chariots that were used by the gods in order to travel from point A to point B. Some of these Vimanas were able to alter direction at the drop of a hat without any effort. So now reading this from a modern day perspective would suggest that some type of anti-gravity device was used. You could link this from the ancient to the modern world with the modern UFO phenomenon. And so the idea that Tesla might have worked on an anti-gravity device is very plausible to me. Are the depictions of flying machines in ancient Hindu texts, like the Mahabharata, really proof that Tesla had received otherworldly knowledge in order to design anti-gravity spaceships. And if the so-called mad scientist 
actually did make contact with extraterrestrials. Is it possible he continued to carry out their wishes in secret?